Hey Dan, I'm gonna jump right into Cyclops' second level here. And once again, you'll see it's pretty similar to the first one. Slightly different uh, color scheme on the rocks and whatnot. And there are these uh, sort of degraded platforms. These subterraneans, yeah, sometimes they get extra close to you as they're attacking, even as you're hitting them, so they end up getting a hit or two in. And uh, with the Genotians, mostly you can uh, sort of duck down and avoid their first hit, and especially if there's a whole big group of them like that, you can just sort of fire forward. Uh huh. And there's a little, there's a little extra. <clears throat> Just trying to shoot upwards on that one. One extra life. What I'd like to do. Oh, I see. I can see that guy's coming in. So, want to get a bit of space between myself and this subterranean. They take six hits, six punches. Okay. And there's a stalactite up there. And with those orbs, you know, if, if you, you can, like, as much as possible, deal with them first, because they uh, are a real pain. Like that, usually if you can get a good hit in before... Hmm. Oh yeah, so this one, it doesn't let you know, but you are in fact safe to just hit, get that and drop there. And, oh yeah, get rid of those uh, speeders, those little airships, because they will drop grenades on you as they pass by overhead. And now this... Make sure you have to jump from the lower. Is that right? That can't be right. No. You need to get up here and jump. Make another... Hmm. Oof. You can see how those things especially can add up because they just keep on chasing you down. And all, as always... Yeah, grabbing health whenever you can. There's this guy here. Ooh, 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 there we go. Ooh. And a little extra spicy. And we want to get rid of him and then load up on the energy bonus. There we go. Back to a good amount of health. And now here's, uh, yeah. Here again is another sentinel. Very much the same strategy as last time. Now when he's up in the air, you can try to avoid those uh, little orbs as best you can, but when he's on the ground, you know, just sort of take your hits and hope that you'll survive through. If not, try again. All right, once again, making our way down towards that sentinel. Now, a big problem that we can have with this section is you can see there's a guy right behind the subterranean and we can't hit him while he's on the other side of it. Not very good, because our blasts won't go through. Alright, so we're just gonna run up and again Avoid the orbs whenever possible, but for the most part, just trying to get in really close. And blast away. There we go. Very good. Alright, and continuing on. Always try to get those things out of the air before they're over top of you, because they will drop a grenade. 
Okay, so you can see the next platform there. Like that. Now, this one, you can't actually jump from that top platform to get to the next one. You need to take a run at it from down here. There we go. And again, that's the problem there. Uh, so the idea is to uh, be able to get to the Genosian when the subterranean is on the other side of it. And then once the Genosian is out of the way, deal with the subterranean with your melee attacks. Is that a, an orb ahead? I think we've dealt with it. Oh, here's another one. Okay. And now, oh, this is the end of the level, and you can see there's just this whole gauntlet of all these guys here. Uh, but once they are clear, then you just run to the right. Now, Cyclops, unlike the others, when he finishes his second level, gets another level, uh, specifically an end boss against Master Mold. So Master Mold is obviously a larger version of the Sentinel we were fighting earlier. And he has a similar pattern, where he will fire projectiles out and then raise his arm and fire specific uh, projectiles out of that. Now the pattern with this one, oh very good, so you can see I've already destroyed his right arm and uh, then he fires missiles out of his chest and fires these yellow orbs out of his abdomen uh, those, that sort of green, uh, little green spray out of his head there we go And he'll also fly back and forth. So the, the the real key to this, aside from you know avoiding the projectiles that come in, is do try to be as close as possible to him because it does seem to uh, give you more shots per second when you're closer to your target because it only allows so many projectiles to appear on screen. Well done, Cyclops. All right, and so we can see that the only uh, adventurer left. Our last hero is Storm. Now Storm's levels are unlike any of the others, and uh, you'll see why when we get to that next time. Alright, well thanks for watching, Dan. Uh, I hope that's helpful. And again, if you uh, have any questions, comments, or if there's anything specific you want me to look at, you just let me know, alright? Okay, I'll talk to you later.